Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yesha Allah, ko loimla, yehawa bashim yawashai, bahashim rakaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. I'm praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to get off into um, the subject of being thankful, you know, um, saying the water, you know, to Yahweh, which, you know, that's um, in the Hebrew, the water would be, you know, thank you. Um, Yahweh is the Hebrew name of the Father, which means that He exists or the existing one. And um, the true name of the Son, which the world English calls Jesus, is Yahweh Shai, which means that He's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And, you know, we should be thankful, first off, you know, to the Father for, you know, what He being merciful, merciful to us, which a lot of scriptures go up into that, you know, because um, when you put in the word, let's just put in the word thankful, um, thanks real quick. So many scriptures pops up. Then you have the word thankful. Then um, thankfulness, I think, pops up once or so. But um, let's see here. Yeah, Second Samuel 22 and 50, it says, Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. First Chronicles 16 and 8, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. You have um, verse 34, oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. That's one of the ones that I wanted to get. And you'll see that quite a bit um, throughout the, you know, the scriptures, especially in the book of Psalms. Um, Psalm 6 and 5, it says, let me see. Or in death, there is no, okay, all right, no, Salakia. But like I said, again, in, in the book of Psalms, pretty much overall, you will get, um, like Psalms 106 right here says, Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And we need mercy, man. You know, that's something to be thankful for, that, you know, he's extending a, a hand right now and being merciful towards us, the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because of the things that we've done. You know, the um, things that our forefathers done, which pretty much was us in the reincarnation, you know, so to speak, if you have an ear to hear. But um, we should be thankful for his mercy because we shouldn't even exist as a people, but, if, you know. For what we've done to him because he he has done so much for us and then you know just man i mean you can't you can't even wake up without the lord that's something to be thankful for you can't breathe without the lord you know your lungs won't properly work you wouldn't you know your nose you know so many things that go off into breathing you know that we just take for granted because we just naturally do it you know um you couldn't take a sip of water without the lord you couldn't have water <laughs> You know, without the Lord, you can't have food or, you know, you know, a lot of people just wake up and they're not thankful to you. How about Shimei was shy? You know, there's so many things to be thankful for. You know, you got to work or you got to your destination safely. You got back home safely. You have a roof over your head. You know, you have clothing on your back. You you woke up, you're feeling fine. You have your, your same mind. You're not um, bugged out. You're not all out of your damn brain. You see? So it's so many things. I mean, a list is just a list. You can, you know, it, I was thinking earlier, I, I guess the simple way to put it is, you know, to just be like, you know, hey, yeah, I would thank you for everything <laughs> because you would be sitting there, you know, saying thank you for it, it, you. You you could sit for a lifetime, man, and thank the Lord for every little single thing that he does, man, because it's, 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 it's so many things. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. There's so many things that 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 you should be thankful to the Lord for. So, and I thought about that today. You know what I'm saying? Because I was kind of dealing with somebody that you know, uh, trying, you know, giving them help, giving them a helping hand, and um, you know, has you know been helping out. You know, it's kind of like a a situation of um sickness, so to speak, and they can't you know move about or do what they need to do. You know, right off. But you know, they never say thank you. They never. You know, it's just like, and you know, I'm kind of doing, I'm doing a lot of things out of pocket, you know, spending my own money, 
you know, and a lot of other things like that, you know, but you never hear thank you. And it's just, you know, and, and it's kind of like at a point now of kind of they're looking at me like you supposed to do it. Like I was just volunteering to begin with, but you know, it's, it, you know, it's no thank, no thank yous there. And then I, you know, it dawned on me. I'm like, you know, well, that's how I came about this lesson because it's so many days that we wake up. It's so many people in the world that never even acknowledge it. How about Shimei was shy? It's a lot of people. It, it's heathens in the world, you know, because the Lord chose the children of Israel. But it's heathen in the world that he didn't even choose, that he he provides all these things for. He provides them with a place to stay. He provides them with clothing on their back. He, he provides them with safe journeys. He, he provides them with food, water. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they have, he, he provides it for them, even though they would never call on him. They would never call upon his name. So that's pretty much about how I you know um, came about this lesson. But again, like I said, you know, his mercy endure forever is um, Psalms 107 and 1. It says, oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. See, so many things to be thankful for, man. You know, you have, um, I, you can see, you can hear, you can smell, you know, you, you have all your limbs. There's people out here, man, that's sitting in a damn wheelchair, man, that would love to walk. But you have the ability to walk. But those people that's even in those wheelchairs have something to be thankful for. Even at your worst, you still should be thankful because it could be worse. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple, you know. So I didn't um like uh, write a lot of uh precepts down, but I did think of this one um by the Spirit, Second Timothy uh chapter three, and this is going off into perilous times and the end days. And one of the things that that was spoken of that will be happening in the end days is that people will be unthankful. That's one of the, the ones right here in um, verse two. Well, let me start from the top right here. Verse one, it says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful. See that unruly without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent. Fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. See? It's great. Hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It's straight right there. That's one of the main. That's one of the things. It's, hey, that list, and, and and that list gives you uh, uh, it gives you clarity as to where we're where we're at as far as the Lord making His coming, the Lord coming back, because it says in perilous times, you know, in the last days there will be perilous times. This is clearly giving you a list of what will be happening in the last days, and one of those things is people would be very unthankful. They would. I mean, you know, you you run across people like that all the time. You know, you get something for them, nothing. They looking at you like, nigga, well, where the rest at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You open the door for somebody, nothing. You drop somebody off, you know, when you spent your 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 your, your time, your gas, because gas is not cheap. You drop somebody off and they just jump right out of the car and, and it's nothing. And then it'll be expecting you to come. You know, you may have dropped somebody off back and forth all week long. They'll never say nothing. Won't throw you nothing towards gas. <laughs> no, nothing towards the wear and tear that you're putting on your vehicle. And, you know, the list goes on and on. You can get somebody a gift. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, for real. I mean, it, this is what or, you know, you can get somebody something and they'll be looking at you like and they'll actually tell you they don't want that. Instead of being thankful for, for something that you, you know, something that you didn't even have to do. So, I mean, you know, hey, we have to be thankful, man. Be thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, when you first wake up, you should be saying thank you. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it just dawned on me. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you know, I was like, well, dang, you know. You know, you just don't, you know, you're doing things. You're trying to be nice. You're trying to, you know, do, you know, uh, your part. As far as, you know, being a, uh, you know, a man of the Lord. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, you let people walk over you. But you are, you know, being, you know, you, you, you're being, you know, just being a lover towards your neighbor, so, so to speak. You know, you, you're, you're, 
doing what you would want to be done unto you, so to speak, you know. So when somebody does something for you, it would be wise to say thank you because a thank you can go a long ways, man. For real. <laughs> I mean, it really does. It, it can go a long ways, you know. But there's so many things, again, like I said, that we, we could be thankful to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for. Uh, let's let's see here. Let's get this. Um, let's see if this is what I want here. Not gonna be a long lesson. It was just some, you know, thought on. But we should be thankful, cause I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm speaking to myself as well. I mean, thank the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You have a job, man. You know, to get up to get your daily bread. You know, you should be thanking him, man. I mean, you know, to, for for leading and guiding you, and especially for this truth. Oh my. But bringing you into this truth, you know, the true name of the father, Yahweh, you know, the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And he has given you the ability to understand these scriptures and the mysteries. Oh, man, that's something, to, you know, to be able to go out on the highways and byways and to teach. That's something to be thankful for, man. You know, you should be, uh, uh, you know, just ah, super duper thankful, man, for the Lord bringing you into this truth, man. But anyway, let's get this. Um. First Thessalonians 5. I started at verse 16. It says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai Mashiach concerning you. See? In the NLT, it says, Be thankful in all circumstances. Let me start from 16 again. It says, Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is Yahweh's will for you who belong to Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? Okay, so let's let's see what else we got here. It's a few of them in um the book of Colossians. Chapter one. Um because this was the greeting, you know, it's basically the greeting to, to the church, so to speak. Verse 3, it says, we give thanks to Yahweh and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, praying always for you, since we heard you, your faith in Yahweh Shai Mashiach and of the love which he had to all the saints. See, but you know, it, it, you know we, give, we give thanks to, to, the, to the Father, our Lord, Yahweh, for, you know, our brethren. You should be thankful that you have brethren, man, that's in this truth, man, that you know, that, that, that's beside you. Uh, you know, at camp and, 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 you know, brothers, you can call on, you know, you know, that for sure will look out for you according to this truth, man. Cause you, you know, these people that are outside of this truth, man, they, you know, you have some okay, genuine friends, but it's not, it's not going to be like a genuine, um, brother that's in this truth. It's never going to be like that for real. Okay. So, um, let's see what else we got in verse 12. Verse 11, I'll start there. It says, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. Let me see. Yeah, it's quite a bit on that. Let's just get to the point. Verse 12, it says, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who had delivered us from the power of darkness. See, that's something to be thankful for. Him delivering us from the power of darkness and have um, translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. You, we should be, man, that's so, it's so many things to be thankful for, man. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. You should be thankful that you you know that the, the power that done all of this man is dealing with you. And he is before all things and by him all things co co consist. See that? But they, I mean, there's so many things, man, to be thankful for. Thankful that Yahweh, um, you know, extended a hand and, and, and sent his son to go through what he went through. You know, you should be thanking him for endurance, man, because a day to, on a day to day basis, every time you get up and you, you know, you still can say the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, his name is still on your, your heart, your mind. That's something to be thankful for, because there's a lot of people that come into this truth and have been in this truth and they know the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and they, you know, they fall off. They go back into the world. So, you know, you want to continually be praying. 
to Yahweh for that mercy and 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 you know being thankful, you know, being thankful to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It goes a long ways, man, like for real. So let's let's go on to the next precept. Well, I'm still in Colossians. Let's get one in um, verse um chapter three, verse 17. Uh, let's see. Let me start at verse 16. It says, Let the word of Yahweh Shai dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Yeah. It says, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks see, to Yahweh and the Father by him. See? So you should be giving thanks to Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man, at all times, man. You know? He's giving thanks. I mean, it's, like I said, it's, it's just thank you, the water, Yahweh. The water for everything. I mean, like I said, it, it's so many things that you could be thankful for. You know, you would be sitting there all day just thanking him for every individual thing. Every individual thing. But, you know, you can just heartfeltly say the water, the water, Yahweh, for everything that you do for me. Every single thing that you do for me, Yahweh. The water for understanding. The water for, you know, um, just everything. So many things, man. Anyway, let's move on. Let's uh let's get Hebrews. Thirteen, uh, chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. Uh, yeah, Hebrews thirteen and fifteen, it says, By him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. See? In the NLT it says, Therefore, let us offer through Yahweh Shai. A continual sacrifice of praise to Yahweh, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. So, you you know, you should be continually thanking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Being thankful, man. Because, cause, cause, you know, a, things could be terrible. I mean, you know, we go through things. We have ailments, you know, but you should be constantly thanking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for, uh, you know, healing and for keeping you healed or, you know, you know, doing whatever he's doing for you. I mean, there's so many things, you know, whatever you can think on. But I would say, hey, just Yahweh with the water for everything that you do for me. Even the things that I, you know, I, I can't even think of that you do for me. Because none of us understands how the body operates. You know, the body moves, the heart beats, the blood pumps, the, you know, the, the you know, the, 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 in, the intricate things that go off into your, you being able to move your legs and your arms, your hands, your feet, everything working. In working order, like man, there's so many things. That's why I'm saying, you know, just keep it simple. Just you how with the water for everything that you do for him. You know, there's nothing to throw that up. Let's get one. Let's get one. I got like two more um, precepts. Uh, let's get this one in Philemon. I think that's what it is. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, I Philippians, Salakia. Philippians four, verse six. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Yahweh. See that? With thanksgiving, man. In the NLT, the New Living Translation, it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. So, hey, real simple. One more. Let's go back to Colossia. I left one out in there. One more. Yeah, how about this? Uh, Colossians 4 and 2. And it reads. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. See that? Um, in the NLT, it says, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. With or praying also for us that Yahweh would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mysteries of Yahweh Shai, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. So here you go. You know, you got the brother, man. He, hey, he He's in jail, basically. You know what I'm saying? He's in chains, so to speak. You know, and he's still giving thanks. 
So, you know, when all things, because see, when things really hit the fans, when stuff start to get really bad, people going to wonder, like, why are you thinking? You know, you should be thankful even then. Be thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for deliverance because he's the one that's going to give it. He's the one that can give it. You're going to have people that's bugging out and panicking. They're not going to know what to do. And you're going to be calm. You should be thanking the Lord that you're for your calmness. You should be thanking the Lord for, um, you know, just bringing scriptures back to remembrance. Like what the Lord said this, man. Like, you know, thank you, Yahweh, you know, for keeping me sane. Keeping my mindset, you know, because I know you're going to do what you said you're going to do. I know you're not going to go back on your word. You know, so there's so many things to be thankful for, man. You know, um, uh, the wisdom and knowledge being a stability of our times. That's something to be thankful for, because, like I said, again, it's going to be some very hard times. that's going to come through and people are not going to understand it. And, and you should be thankful, you know, that you have an understanding as to why things are going to be happening or why things are happening. And, and, and people just going to be bugging out, man. I'm telling you. So be thankful for this truth. Be thankful that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, he called you, man, you know, into this truth. And be thankful for even the, 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 the stuff that you may not even agree with, you know, just be thankful for the water for everything, Yahweh, you know, <laughs> the water for, you know, it's just, just everything. That's, that's the best I can put it. I can't put it really no other way. Because like I said, Everybody got something to be thankful different from the other person. You know what I'm saying? But overall, you know, just to be living um, your basic needs, you know, your housing, your, you having clothing on your back. Because, man, there's people out here going through it. You having, your, you know, the money that you need to, to take care of your bills, to not be out here on these streets. Man, it's about to get cold. You know, it's already cold where I'm at. We just had our first snow the other day on, uh, what's that, on Halloween. So, you know, hey, just being thankful for every single thing, man. Thankful that you're not getting a phone call about one of your, you know, your relatives, you know, um, you know, um, passing away or being and in, getting into something or whatever the case may be. Anyway, you know, I just wanted to just touch on that, man. Be thankful. Uh, you know, it just brought to my attention earlier today. And I'm like, you know what? I, you know, I mean, by the spirit, I do something on that. You know, you how about design. Here I am. So, you know, be thankful, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.